Well, just as in Nazism, uh, Nazism was the process of robbing the media, robbing the institutions, religious institutions, and robbing specifically the youth. That's how Hitler started, with this youth, and with the arts. Uh, so, uh, right at a young age, we uh, used to listen to the voice of Palestine coming from Egypt. And the arts, the songs, the national songs, the Palestinian national songs, all of them. And as I when you went to kindergarten, before uh, the PLO, uh, uh, we learned Arabs are beloved, Jews are dogs, was a song we sang in kindergarten even. And Arabs are beloved, Jews are dogs. Al -Arab you were yeah. singing, okay. Al-Arab ahbabna wal yahud klabna, which means our dogs. Okay. And uh, never met a Jew in my life. And here I was thinking of Jews as dogs. Uh, going to the museum, going to the uh, going to the zoo, you know, you'd see monkeys. You see, these are the descendants of the Jews. In fact, at one point in time, we had a gorilla who uh, had a habit of smoking, and they would flick a cigarette to the gorilla in the cage, and he'd puff on the cigarette. And I remember I asked, I said, "Well, how did he learn how to smoke?" And the answer came very quickly: "This is a descendant from the Jews who broke the Sabbath." In accordance to the Quranic verse, وَقَلَبْنَاهُمْ قِرَدَةً خَاسِئِينَ We have converted the Sabbath breakers to becoming detestable monkeys. And from a young age, learning exactly what happened in Nazism. The, the difference is that this has a religious twist to it. You know, this is using the Quran, uh, using verses from the Quran, the Hadith. To back. To back up. Ideology. Yeah, yeah.